Hi, I'm Daniel Storage, and you're watching Red Men TV. From Sheriff Subivafasafasan. Charles Mead. Yeah, I'm really am sorry about that. <laughs> um, if Liverpool wins a trophy but doesn't make top four, even by a few points, should Rob just keep his job, man? Uh, I'm going to have to do it, though. Um, it's not on yours, it's on mine. I've got three nice little questions at the back, you see. Um, well, I did, with, when Kenny, was it 2012, he got us to the FA Cup final, we won the League yeah. Cup, and he had a, he had a, well, there was a shock, we had a shocking season in the league, I think it was eight, was it eight? Oh, yeah, after Arsenal, where we just fucking capitulated, yeah. wasn't it? And he was, he was gone after it, but if it's, if we're talking a few points, off the top four and we win say the FA, the, the FA. I, f I think he'd be kept in if, if it's the FA Cup but then again if we win the League Cup in February end of February beginning of March time and then after that like the cup competitions were just shite and our league form's terrible then maybe they'll go right you've got you've got one silverware but that was a couple of months ago yeah. if you've managed to let the squad Take them off the ball and think we've done what yeah. we've done for the year. I, I don't know. You win the Europa League, you get in the Champions League, so yeah. that might be a way. That it's kind of like a little. It's a little. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you win the Europa League in the Champions League, it's the little. Like, only one team can win it. It's, it's the little loophole that might keep him in his job. Yeah. I think. If he doesn't come fourth, I think he'll sign. Yeah, I, think I, don't, I don't know whether that's right or wrong. It's, it's hard to say, isn't it? It depends on seasons. If, if you miss out on a goal yeah. difference in a goal, but. I think he'd start maybe to look for four, four or oh, Champions League football. If he didn't so. get Champions League football at the end of the season, that's four years where his goal is to deliver Champions League football and he won't have delivered it in three. Yeah. And it makes, again, I think it's going to be difficult. I think the because you could be sitting here listening to a bunch of Arsenal, City, United, Chelsea, and Tottenham fans are possibly all arguing that they've got to get top four and two of them are going to be disappointed. Mm. So it isn't easy, but I think the, the clubs back them. They look like they've really gone in on him. Joe Benteke was his player, if you believe everything that's coming out of the club and reported. So they've gone and got the player that he said he, he wanted. They've gone and, like a Driscoll is his type of coach. It's not like they've gone and brought someone who's going to be kind of. It's like they couldn't have actually backed him anymore. Well, that's why I think he's got the season. Yeah, oh, I genuinely believe he's got I also the think that, that if he doesn't get top four, I think he's gone at the yeah, end of it. Because I, I think they've given him enough ropes yeah, to fucking handle himself. With definitely, now. yeah. That's what it's about. Like, I don't. I don't like changing your manager mid-season. Hodgson being the only exception to that. To be fair. <laughs> yeah. I don't think um, I, I'm not a huge. I'm not hugely for it, but I think they would. And it's like Orb says, four years now in, in modern football is a long time for a manager for, to deliver what you're meant to deliver. Yeah. And he's done it once, and then it balls up. So he's, they've given him another chance. I think he's living on that. Yeah. We've seen something in you, so we'll back you. Four years is a long time, and. Yeah. Is he, is, I think he might already be the second or third longest serving manager in the league. Yeah, yeah. I think he is. Yeah, it is. It's, I think it's Wenger it's and, and uh, it's him. Fucking yeah, I think, I, think, I think that's right. I'm, don't it's, it is. It's, it's, it's Wenger yeah. and him. So, he, he, he's, had, he's, had, he's had a bit of time and I, I like him. I think, he, I think he is a good manager and I think he'll prove to be one. But I, I don't. I think, he's like, I think they're ruthless as well. Yeah, oh, definitely. They have said, definitely. you spent all my money. We've, we've, all the barriers that were you perceived to be blocking you from doing your job, so we've got your your coaches, you, and obviously the last lot with us as well. But you've gone. We, we give you the license to get new coaches. You spent the money on your players. We bank, we bankrolled that. Deliver all all your house. I think that's what they've said, and I think it's probably fair. I think I think that's fair enough. So if he, I suppose then, if he gets the FA Cup at the end of the season, where do you stand on it? And finishes fifth by a point. By a point. Oh, I think that'd be tough to sack him, wouldn't it? I think uh, that's really. Tough. But I think he would. Would I? Probably not, but I think they would. Um, I think that's good for Liverpool. Uh, I, think I, think they, they, I think that's good. You don't good. meet your targets. Yeah. In any other job, if you don't meet your targets, you get something. In my United, I'm a written warning first. Yeah. <laughs> they get one season for I can that. tell you now, if United, Chelsea, City, or Arsenal don't come to a fourth, they'll probably lose. They'll sack their manager. Yeah. Wenger, Wenger, Pellegrini's got this season. Wenger well. might walk, might go upstairs. Yeah. I don't think he might yeah. undignify him. But I think if, if those teams didn't finish in the Champions League, I think they'd all lose their manager. So why are we that different now? We're at a stage where we've backed the guy and we've written off last season as a bit of a clusterfuck that it was. I think I think it's a, I think it's justified. Spurs do as well. If Spurs, yeah. Spurs might sack Pochettino if he doesn't if he doesn't get it. There's 
I think it's, 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 I was looking at Spurs it's a big now, pressure, I'm thinking isn't it? their signings are pretty awful so yeah. far, like, and, and the players that they've been with don't inspire me. What well, they do actually, because I think fucking hell, they actually might not be our biggest <laughs> kind of yeah. challenges anymore. Do you know what I mean? They were they were a place ahead of us, and when they're getting linked with McCarthy and Morales, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> magic. Like, uh, but anyway, that will probably blow up on my face at some point during the season. That's a vine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 please, don't, please don't tweet me. Yeah. There you go then, I can't even hide behind Paul this time, I'm just going to admit it, I'm cutting you off, I can't blame that big twat Paul this time, but if you want to hashtag him, big twat Paul, at theredmentv.com, do it, do it now, it'll really piss him off on his holiday, and that's what we're all about. Uh, we discussed loads on the full question time video, of course, do you think Enrique will apply to be the mighty Reds assistant? That question got a little bit out of hand, actually, as you would expect, because we like to go off on tangents and not really talk about football a lot. Of course, we like to talk about football as well. Uh, John Cars, if we signed a player like Roos, Benzema or Pedro, do you think we could challenge for the title? Uh, absolutely tons of questions. Jane Francis, taking away price value, is Klein a better sign than Firmino was one of the questions. Who will be our best player, worst player? Best sign and worst sign and young player of the year was one of the other questions. And we played a little game at the end. What has to happen for... And so examples of that would be what has to happen for Liverpool to finish first? What has to happen for Liverpool to finish ninth? And what has to happen for all kinds of mad shit? Anyway, it's £2 a month. It's free for a month. We'll annotate to it at the end of the video. It's www.theredmentv.com. You know it by now. Um, at T Brasses 7... Mark, do you think Enrique will apply to be Mighty Red's assistant? <laughs> job description suits him perfectly. That's ultimately, he'll probably be shit at that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you can't, you can't what think. happens if he has to go <laughs> left? He has to go left, yeah. He's, he's not doing No, I'd sick of him. I'm, we, uh, just, we, we spoke about him being, what, for the kids' part, hireable for kids' part. He's like, just. Can you, can you take a selfie with, with wings on if that's his issue? You might not like that job. No. Where we can't take a selfie. Yeah. Unless you put a selfie stick on his beak. He'd probably love that. <laughs> he would. What about you, Aubrey? Do you reckon he's a, make a 